ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय 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 from Srimad Bhagavatam, 4th Canto, Chapter 24, the song sung by Shiva, chanting the song sung by Lord Shiva. Verse, text 32, Maitreya Uvacha, Maitreya Uvacha, Ityannu Krosha Ridayo, Bhagavan Ahantan Shivaha, Bhagavan Ahantan Shivaha, Bhadhan Jalin Raja Putran, Bhadhan Jalin Raja Putran, Narayana Parovacha, Narayana Parovacha, Maitreya Uvacha, Maitreya Uvacha, Ityanu Krosha Ridayo, Ityanu Krosha Ridayo, Bhagavan Ahatan Shivaha, Bhagavan Ahatan Shivaha, Bhadhan Jalin Raja Putran, Bhadhan Jalin Raja Putran, Narayana Parovachaha, Narayana Parovacha, Maitreya Uvacha, Maitreya Uvacha, Ityanu Krosha Ridayo, Ityanu Krosha Bhagavan Ahatan Shivaha, Bhagavan Ahatan Shivaha, Bhadhan Jalin Raja Putran, Bhadhan Jalin Raja Putran, Narayana Parovachaha, Narayana Parovacha, Maitreya Uvacha, Maitreya Uvacha, the great saint Maitreya continued to speak. The great saint Maitreya continues to speak. Iti thus Anukrosha Ridayaha Anukrosha Ridayaha Very kind hearted. Very kind hearted. Bhagavan Bhagavan the Lord. Aha said Tan unto the Prachetas. Shiva, Lord Shiva, Bhada Anjalin, who were standing with folded hands, Raja Putran, the sons of the king, Narayana Paraha, Lord Shiva. Lord the great devotee of Narayana, Vachaha, words. Translation purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. The great sage Maitreya continued, out of his causeless mercy, the exalted personality Lord Shiva a great devotee of Lord Narayana, continued to speak to the king's sons who were standing with folded hands. Purport. Lord Shiva voluntarily came to bless the sons of the king as well as do something beneficial for them. He personally chanted the mantra so that the mantra would be more powerful and he advised that the mantra be chanted by the king's sons Raja Putras. When a mantra is chanted by a great devotee the mantra becomes more powerful. Although the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is powerful in itself a disciple upon initiation 
receives the mantra from his spiritual master for who for when the mantra is chanted by the spiritual master it becomes more powerful Lord Shiva advised the sons of the king to hear him attentively for inattentive hearing is offensive hmm. so Maitreya Uvacha Ityanu Krosha Ridayo Bhagavan Aha Tan Shivaha Bhadanjalin Raja Putran Narayana Parovachaha The great sage Maitreya continued Out of his causeless mercy the exalted personality Lord Shiva, a great devotee of Lord Narayana, continued to speak to the king's sons who were standing with folded hands. Omagyana timirandasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshurun militam yena tasma shri urave namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Karamayam Dharati Swa Padantikam He Krishna Karuna Sinho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Rara Kanta Namo Sute Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Vrinda Vaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Panchakalpa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Evacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavevyo Namo Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadara Sri Vasadi Gorvanda Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So Everything what we do depends on quality. Oh, you have a problem with English? Mm -hmm. Nur Deutsch? Mm -hmm. oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. This is for the benefit, für den, für den Vorteil von anderen. <laughs> Die sprechen kein Deutsch. Praktisch keiner, der das Video sehen wird. Okay. Ein, eine Person spricht Deutsch. Mm -hmm. So what to do. Uh, you have to learn English. <laughs> so, everything we do depends, uh, yes, I will speak slowly, because also they don't speak, many of them, not so well English. Then I have to do it in Spanish. Um, everything we do depends on the quality. Uh, so, <clears throat> Actually, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna, he dedicates a whole chapter about this. Well, the three qualities or modes of material nature, we know, passion, ignorance and goodness, sattva, rajas and tamas, they influence everything. Whether you perform charity or even the way you eat, even sleeping can be in the three modes. <laughs> um, whatever you can think of will be influenced by these three modes of material nature. And of course, it's, as Prabhupada explains, it's like colors. Uh, you have three primary colors. Everybody knows, I think, even if you're not a painter. You have yellow, red and blue. Red. Yellow, red, and blue. Yes. Green. What is green? No matter. You're not a painter. No. <laughs> Who knows where green comes from? Mixture of yellow and blue. That's right. So it's not a primary color. A primary color is it's that's the color and it doesn't is not mixed. So red is not mixed. It's a, its own color. Blue is its own color and yellow is its own color. But by mixing them, you can get not just thousands. Actually, well, according to what scientists tell us, you can get millions and probably more. Like supposedly, 
the screens of these machines here, they have more than 16 million different colors they can display. And of course, because it's Krishna's creation, you can go on, it's like the macro and microcosmos, where is the limit? There's always a little bit more of a difference, because it's like, if you talk about length, right? We have, we all know one centimeter we can imagine, one millimeter also. Now what about the hair? It's about, um, I think I read it somewhere, maybe a tenth, not a tenth of a millimeter, well maybe a tenth of a millimeter. It's, it's, it gets smaller and smaller. So now the soul is a ten thousandth part of a hair. So I calculated that. <laughs> because now we also have, because science is advancing, we have nanometers. Nanometer, I think it's a millionth of a millimeter. Or uh, so the ten x has a minus nine. Okay, whatever, but it's like a millionth. It's it's very, really small. So the soul, if it's a ten thousandth part of the tip of a hair, comes about to six nanometers. Hare Krishna. Six nanometers. Are we? You're following how small we are getting, six nanometers. Now a virus, like Corona, is about between 20 and 100 nanometers. It's so small it can enter into a bacteria. Bacteria are much bigger. So obviously a spirit soul can be within the virus. It's a living entity. It's not dead, as many scientists think. <clears throat> so, um, so these three colors, they can be mixed in so many different ways. And these are all qualities. So whatever we do is influenced by not just these three, but also by mixtures of the three modes of nature passion, ignorance and goodness, they mix and then they give a certain quality to whatever we may do. And chanting can also be influenced in this way. Now this is a, we have to really understand how this works. Because the holy name is transcendental, we may say, not we may say, it's true. So in one sense it's never really affected by any material influence. At the same time, there is a quality to chanting. So how to understand this properly uh, will be necessary. So let's go back to the verse. Here it is explained that when for example, the Maha Mantra is chanted by a great devotee, it becomes more powerful. And we may, how is this possible? It's, Krishna is absolute. No? I mean, the doubt, it's a reasonable doubt. It's not a stupid doubt. It's a reasonable doubt that obviously the holy name is not different from Krishna. Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Purna Shodo Nitya Mukto Abhina, 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 Namine. It's not different from Nam, Nam it's not, not different from Krishna. It's Purna, it's complete. It's Shuddha, completely pure. Nitya, eternal. Mukta, free. There's no condition by any. So then how is it possible that it becomes more powerful when chanted by a devotee? Hmm. And on the other hand, if it's chanted by a non-devotee, then what? It becomes less powerful or actually it becomes covered. Or even as some Acharyas say, it becomes the letters of the alphabet. You know, it's not exact, well, it's not exact, yeah, 
it's, therefore it's so, so difficult. We cannot say it's a mundane sound. But the quality of the person who vibrates the sound, that influences when the hearer gets it, what effect there will be. Clear? Uh, therefore we have heard this verse from Sanatan Goswami that uh, we are advised not to hear the holy name or Krishna's pastimes from a non-devotee. He says if you do this it acts like poison. Wow. So how to understand it? Yeah. So Prabhupada explains, it's a very easy to understand. The holy name is like milk. Milk is very nice, very nutritious. Now you put one little drop of poison in a nice pot of, you know, a liter of milk and then you drink. What will happen? You will die. You will die. <laughs> but it's milk, it's so wonderful, it's, you know, you get nice brain tissues and everything from, from drinking milk, but now you drink this type of milk and you die. But it's not the milk, of course, who causes the death. It's that which is added, the little drop of poison. That acts on you. So when we hear from a non-devotee, Hare Krishna, it's Krishna, or hearing the pastimes, tenth canto, from somebody, Bhagavad Saptaha. Yeah. But it's a non-devotee, it's a Mayavadi. Um, so it is advised, no, don't hear, because that will influence negatively your consciousness. Hmm. So let's, let us read something about the quality, and that is in first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, eighth chapter, which is the prayers of Queen Kunti. We already had them yesterday. So this is text number 26, Janmai Shwara Shruta Shri Bir, Edamana Marak Puman, Naivahart Abhidatum Vai, Tvam Akinchana Gochara, famous verse. Um, Queen Kunti, she says to Krishna, My Lord, your Lordship can easily be approached, but only by those who are materially exhausted. One who is on the path of material progress, uh, trying to improve himself with a good family parentage, uh, opulence, great opulence, high education, mm, and bodily beauty. Get some bigger lips or, <laughs> you know, if the ears are like, you good like this. People do so many things to think, you know, you become more beautiful, more attractive. So one who is in that kind of consciousness, they cannot approach you with sincere feeling. Hmm? Uh, so Prabhupada explains in the purport that it is said in Shastra that the holy name is so powerful that if you only chant it once, you're liberated. Everybody has heard this, right? Yes. So um, Prabhupada says it is a fact that the holy name has this powerful potency. But there's a quality to such chanting. So, as we heard, uh, if the disciple receives the mantra from a bona fide guru, the mantra becomes more powerful. If we get it from somebody who is like a snake, a mayavadi or non-devotee, it becomes actually poisonous. So, uh, 
Yes, the holy name liberates if you chant it, but it has to be with a certain quality. Not just any type of chanting will do that. Um, so then it says, he says, it depends on the quality of feeling. It's not the quality of intellectual, you know, somebody who is very smart or very intelligent. When he chants, then Krishna will be very pleased. <laughs> not at all. No, it's what is the condition of the heart? Uh, what is the feeling? Uh, then Prabhupada gives the example because the verse says, Akinshana Gochara means somebody who is materially exhausted, has no more uh, plans to become successful in the material world. So he says, a helpless person, uh, somebody, then he can utter the holy name with feeling. Um, whereas somebody who is very satisfied with his material life, uh, he cannot have such a sincere feeling uh, because the feeling should be one should approach the Lord in a humble attitude and hoping for his mercy and be engaged in his service. That is the chanting of the holy name. O oh my Lord, or energy of the Lord, please engage me in your service. So somebody who is materially very much puffed up proud or as uh, the verse says Queen Kunti uses the word edamana madak puman that means somebody who's like drunk or intoxicated with material beauty opulence learning all these things then you cannot chant nicely you're like a little crazy <laughs> So, uh, somebody who does not have all that, then they're exhausted, uh, materially speaking, so then they can approach the Lord with humility and, and sincere feeling. Yes. So, um, therefore sometimes it happens that Krishna, when he sees that a devotee is in a condition of being a little bit intoxicated by material things, he may take it away. And we mentioned already yesterday. Uh, then maybe uh, you lose your business goes broke, uh, you lose everything. Or if you're very much attached to the family, you may even lose family members. It may happen. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're very much attached to your body, you may be, be, become very sick. <laughs> that's Krishna who knows what we need it's like a doctor what kind of treatment does that patient need okay he needs an injection okay he needs to you have to cut out <laughs> something or whatever treatment eh? or this bitter medicine that you practically cannot tolerate to take but you have to take it not only you know one three times a day you have to take this bit of medicine for months. So, it's tapasya, yeah, painful. But there is a, at the end, you will be cured. So you'll accept these neg so-called negative things as something which actually is very beneficial. Uh, therefore, as we said yesterday also, uh, uh, a real devotee, sincere devotee, even these circumstances which are very difficult, he sees them as Krishna's mercy, as his blessing, not as a curse. And we have many examples also of so-called curses. Narada Muni does that. He curses. But all these curses are blessings. Like the Yamala Arjuna trees were cursed. Nala Kuvara and Manigriva, the sons of Kuvera. They were puffed up exactly that situation. They were drunk and we don't want to go into all the details, uh, naked, not alone, with some others. And um, so they were completely bewildered 
And then Narada Muni said, okay, you need a heart treatment, become trees. Uh, okay. So anyway, so that happens. Um, if somebody is in such, such a situation, Krishna will make some arrangement uh, that you become put on the right track. Uh, and it may be a little painful sometimes. So, let's go back to our idea of quality. There's another, this is from, from Topmost Yoga System. I think it's classes the devotees put together. So here Prabhupada speaks about this example of the milk and the snake and the, you know, the mantra or Krishna's pastimes and all that, because this is a verse by Sanatan Goswami, um, who like prohibits the devotees. He tells them, "Don't hear uh, of the Supreme Lord or the chanting of the holy name from a person who is not purified, who is a non-devotee, basically." So now I will just read Prabhupada's explanation, he says, one may ask, because we may become doubtful, how can you taint the words of Krishna? How can they be tainted? Because they are transcendentally pure. So how is it possible? So then, of, then also we may think, what is the problem? What is the harm to hear from a non-devotee? Because it's about Krishna. Krishna is Krishna. Krishna is transcendental, so whether it comes from you or from you or from, you know, from somebody who knows who, it doesn't matter because it's all Krishna. And sometimes we think like that. We have go to some Kirtan Mela or there's also other yoga people who make Kirtan evenings and this and that, and anybody can come and chant, especially some famous musician can come and chant and chant all kinds of mantras because it's all the same. It doesn't matter. Does it matter? No, it's all transcendental. So, um, so Prabhupada says, this question may come. What's the problem? The example given is that milk is very nice. That I what I explained and nutritious. But as soon as it is touched by a serpent, I said a, a drop of poison, so a, a poisonous snake puts the tongue into the milk, <laughs> uh, then it becomes poison. Hmm? So the serpent is very envious, he bites and puts to death immediately. Hmm? And therefore, it is considered the cruelest animal the serpent and the scorpion. They are compared to that because they sting and kill you without any reason. Yeah, that's the nature, that's the problem with snakes. You, 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 don't, you don't attack them, you don't do anything. But when they come, they bite and you die. And scorpion the same thing. So therefore, in Shastra, it is said that even saintly persons become happy when they see that a scorpion and a snake is killed. <laughs> because they are very harmful to any other living entity. Anyway, so, um, so therefore, one should not hear Srimad Bhagavatam or the chanting of the Holy Name from those who have no Krishna consciousness. Uh, uh, that, that touch, touch when, when they touch the pastimes or the holy name, they they always poison it. Mm -hmm. So so the words, the words of the Lord are always same line, but as but as soon as they are touched, touched by the serpent like the non devotees, then then when you when you hear that it poisons the heart. So that's so that's the lesson. Now, now, there was another other something else that I wanted to tell. tell. That, is, that is about the story, story of Anami. That's, that's an interesting, interesting story, story because you also, also chanted. And we can, we can say, say 
that John Jeremy was not a pure devotee. devotee. The story, story explains, explains how he was. He was. <laughs> so, so, but at yeah, the, the end, he called his son. son. What are you, what are you, you have any question, question or discuss, discussing something important that we know? We know. Well, otherwise, otherwise, we have to better, better have to discuss, discuss something and go on, go on. So, um, so, so uh, Ajami, Ajami just, just called his son. His son. He, he didn't change the chan name, name consciously. consciously. But, but there was there an effect. Was effect. And why, why that is, is uh, I, will, I will also, also read this. This, this is, is at the end, the end of the chapter. 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 Proper almost gives explanation. explanation. It's, it's very it rarely, rarely, rarely happens in the Bhagavad but it's at the end of this, this chapter, chapter, and I think it's the end of the also there's a supplement. supplement. That's an addition to the and the I'm also at that. And the additional explanation is about the chapter. chapter. So, so, so this is this the, is the it's a commentary, commentary from the Vishnu Vishnu Chandra about our Jami. So, so he so says, says um, um, again, again, somebody somebody made made doubt, doubt. So, so it is it said, says, yes, yes, if you change the whole name when he comes to speak from all the laws of action, action. But, but uh, if one commits uh, the act in consciousness, consciousness, consciousness yeah, yeah. then and not and only one, one many, many, many times, times then, then one, one cannot, cannot free himself, himself from, 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 from reactions. reactions. Right, right. Um, so how is it possible, possible that somebody by once chanting the holy, the name, holy name, name, name one immediately becomes free from all reactions? That's the doubt. So, Sri Ramachandra Shankarachandra explains that, that, that um, the chanting of the holy name, name is the best, is the best process, process of counteracting counter if one is a one thief, thief, one is stolen gold, gold, and other things. things. Or is a drunkard, or one, or one is a one cheater. Is a cheater. Uh, or one has one killed the Rama. Rama now. Or <laughs> one has had sex with the wife of my guru. Mm -hmm. If the guru has a wife, which, which also, happens, happens, of happens, of course. Of course. Or yeah, another superior, 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 not just the guru. So all the one has slaughtered slaughter a cow. cow. I mean, these are all things. things. Just one of them is sufficient for to. to, to, to Hellish condition for a good amount of time. time. Um, um, so, so simply by chanting the holy name, name such, such a sinful person, person may attract the attention of the Lord, Lord. Uh, 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 who therefore, therefore considers, because, because this person has chanted my holy name, name my duty my is to pro protect him. Hmm? So, so, then, but continues it's a long. This is confirmed by Sri Daswat, who is the commentator of Bhagavatam. Uh, when Ajami was in great danger that the Yamadutas were coming. So he was freed. Uh, the Vishnu Dutas came and the Yamadutas have doubts also. How is it possible? We should take him because it's very simple. Yeah. So, but the Yamadutas explained, or that is explained here, that he has given the name Narayan to his son. And uh, although he was calling his son, the name is so powerful because Narayan is not different, the name of Narayan, from the person Narayan. When Ajami named his son Narayan, all reactions of sinful life were finished, just by giving the name to his son. So it's good to have a son or a daughter, give her a name of Radharani or Krishna or son. Nar even Narayan will do, as we can see, it doesn't have to be Govinda or Krishna. So uh, it's so powerful that he was then freed from all these reactions. However, 
Now this is not so easy to understand. However, his chanting would then have been Nama Aparat. Would have been. Huh? Um, if one tries to neutralize his sins by chanting the holy name, this is called Nama Aparat. But in response to that argument, it is said that Ajamil's chanting was not offensive. Why? Because he did not chant the name of Narayan with the idea of becoming free from sin. He was simply calling his son. <laughs> so, uh, actually Prabhupada says here, he didn't know that what he was doing was sinful. I don't know how, but some other, this is what it is said. And nor did he know that by chanting Narayana, he could counteract his sins. So he's like innocent in one sense, not, not very intelligent maybe. So that, therefore, he did not commit Nama Aparat. Hmm? And uh, because of calling his son several times Narayana, Narayana, then um, this chanting unconsciously accumulated bhakti. That's the explanation. Uh, so, and then he says, even the first time he just chanted Narayana to call his son, that was sufficient to nullify all the sinful reactions of all his life. <laughs> um, and Prabhupada then gives an example. Hmm? A fig tree. You know a fig tree? You don't know. In, in Spain we have. Even on the farm. You know, nice fig trees. So, they don't give a fruit immediately. I like any other fruit actually. You know, they start very small and green. You cannot eat them. And then it takes some time, then they grow. And now is the time, August, September, when the fig trees in Spain are full of figs you can eat. They're very sweet. That's before drying. You only know fix when they're dried. But when they're fresh, the best. You cannot imagine. I mean, also depends on the tree, of course. But I have had fresh figs. It's beyond description. It's like nectar. So sweet. Some are so sweet it's hard to eat. Eh? Too sweet. <laughs> uh, anyway, so he says, they grow little by little until the fruit becomes really ripe. So similarly, Ajamil's devotional service by his chanting grew little by little. Hmm? Uh, and although he committed very many sinful acts during his life, the reactions did not affect him. That's the explanation. Um, hmm. So similarly, yes, if a devotee chants the holy name even once without offense, that protects him eternally. It's like Nehavi Krama Nashosti, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, any alpamyampyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bayat, any little advancement will protect you from the greatest fear. So, some other, if we only can once chant with feeling, really, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, oh my Lord, eh, please engage me in your service, um, then we are protected eternally, hmm? which should not bring us to the idea, oh, then now I can do whatever I want, and I'm protected eternally, so it's, everything is good. <clears throat> That's also not a good idea, eh? because you may and then if you are, have that kind of consciousness, then Krishna will also, then the correction will come. Huh? Then you get a slap and you may have to suffer for some time, which who knows how long. So there will be like a hiatus, you know, you come, okay, you are eternally protected, but now you have to learn a lesson. So suffer for a few million years as a hog, and then you come back and be a devotee. I mean, it's a little exaggerated, but you know, we shouldn't think, oh, I can do whatever I want and I'll go to Krishna Loka anyway. Maybe yes, but maybe maybe long time in the future. And meanwhile, you will have to suffer for whatever you do. Uh, yes. 
It's like initiation. People nowadays, I think, they just have this wrong conception. Or oh, once I get initiated, then you know I'm I'm liberated. No, not at all. It's the beginning. Uh, yes, Om Apavitra Pavitrova. It doesn't matter what is your condition. Once you remember the Lord, you become pure, and you you know you get the holy name and you get a new name. Now is this at this point you're practically now it's a good chance if you continue there for for regulative principles and all that we promise because if you do all that then you remain pure. But if you say oh now now I'm I'm, I'm free now I can do whatever I want I can smoke again I can do this and that and the other thing. No, then you become contaminated, uh, even though one had had the chance, and then you have to suffer. But sometime in the future, Krishna will give you another chance. Uh, you're never lost completely. That's true, but it's still not very intelligent to like interrupt uh, the liberated condition to become conditioned again and suffer who knows how long, and then after some time come back again. I mean, you know, so anybody who's intelligent will not do that. Mm-hmm. All right, I think here we can stop. Any doubts? Not a doubt, but I want to Good. know <laughs> about, uh, how to spot some snake poison by your body. How do you know that? This one who's singing is now. Oh, this is a good question. <laughs> uh, of course, if you don't know the person, you may have a hard time to tell. Right? Um, but if we know this is not one of our devotees, you know, he's not uh, initiated, he's not chanting 16 rounds every day, he's not following the four regular. As it is, I don't know. I'm very doubtful. Then you're taking a chance, so maybe better not. And if we know that, because of some of these people, we know who they are. We know that they're not following. Or even if they're vegetarian, that that's not a qualification. A monkey is also vegetarian, <laughs> or a pigeon. You know, Robert uses pigeon, pigeons. So that to be just vegetarian, vegetarian is not the qualification. But um, especially the philosophy. What is their philosophy? Yeah. They may even follow the four rela- regulated principles. But if their philosophy is impersonal, that's the that's the disqual- the main disqualification. So we have to know. If we don't know, then if in doubt, do without. It's a good English proverb. If it's doubtful, then better not, because you don't know. So we know, we should know, you know, if somebody is in, like, therefore also when we have people lead kirtan, they should be devotees in good standing. Not anybody. That's not a good idea. It's wrong. It's a mistake. Because nowadays it happens. Uh, Anybody maybe has been a devotee for some time, then they go away, do anything and everything. And then they come back at one, maybe to some festival, and now I want to chant. Those who are responsible, they should not allow such a person to chant. Even if though he may have been a devotee 30 years ago or whatever, but if his life is doubtful, uh, what kind of life he's living, then better not. I mean, I don't want to get into any controversy, but it's logical. Uh, uh, we should only, those who lead kirtans or even, yes, speak about Krishna in class or anything, any, any speaking, we should um, know whether we are following or not following the basic teachings of Prabhupada. If we cannot, then we also actually voluntarily, if somebody asks us to change it, you know, I'm... And I know some devotees who feel like that, and they don't. They will not accept to lead kirtan or even give a class, because they know I'm not following. I'm too weak, maybe not, for some time I cannot, you know. I still have so many girlfriends. So, (laughs) then, you are disqualified immediately. 
and then don't sit on the vyasasana, you know. If, if you have illicit sex, then she shouldn't sit. It's not proper. If you have once in a while, you know, you drink a little whiskey or a wine, or do this and that and the other thing, then voluntarily be a little humble and uh, don't become, you know, uh, take a leading position. It's not proper. So, you know. But we should, yes, no, those we know, especially those who are famous in the world, uh, singers, we know who they are. They're not Vaishnavas. They're Mayavadi followers. And if you ask, and if you know, anyway, I, uh, there's proof, you know, what they say, and like things like that. Like one of them, um, very famous, you know, he said, yes, you know, the, ch the people, we chant this Hare Krishna and all that, and they take it as the names of God. He said, but I, I my chanting is a little different. You know, I don't, I don't know who God is, and... For me, these names are the names of our inner self. So I am God, you are God, you know, it's our inner self. We chant Hare Krishna or Rama or Ganesh or Hanuman or whatever. And it's all the same finally, because that's Mayavari philosophy. Um, and um, we go up and up and up and then sometime we merge. Basically, that's the, they're using the holy name to become one. Basically, that's the mind. They, they even can come to the temple and, uh, you know, offer prayers to a deity. It's all just a step towards the Absolute. You know, all these deities and the names, they're all temporary manifestations of the Absolute. That's the philosophy. They're not real in one sense. They're just they help us. And Mayavaris will explain like this. We are not qualified to meditate on the Brahman. So we need the help of Surya and Durga and Shiva and Vishnu, Durga, Shiva, Aganesh. Eh? The five Panchopasana. Find five deities. They will offer prayer. They will worship. But they know these are, these are only temporary manifestations of the Absolute. Once we are up here, we don't need them anymore. So if we hear from these kinds of people and chant with them, then, you know, this acts like poison. Okay. Um, I have two questions. The first is that uh, it's about uh, the uh, 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 donations. If, uh, Touchy subject. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, so good. Give me your example. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, okay. So, I can give you my example that I was in the city and you know, distributing the books, and one girl then wanted to, to give me as, uh, the money first for the book, and then I have asked her uh, if she uh, if she uh, will read the book. She said no, but uh, uh, you can uh, still have the money, yes? And it was in a very negative way, and I have seen like the bad feelings in the third part, yeah? and I uh, entirely didn't accept this, yeah? And uh, yeah, and I was in a very uh, wondering about that, uh, what should I do in the future? No, I mean, if somebody wants, takes the book, even if they don't read it, then you'd accept the, of course you accept the money. It's, what I was thinking of is a, a different example, just a donation, without any, you don't get anything in return. Like yes. people come to the temple, especially from India, you know, like, yeah, we have, I know some case, you know, somebody is running a duty-free shop, it's all full of cigarettes and alcohol. But very pious, <laughs> it's, you know, very strange. That's they have to li make their living somehow, so they have a shop like that. At least it's not a butcher, you know. It's only cigarettes and alcohol. But they get a lot of money, and then they come, and they also may know this is not good, you know. But what can I do? 
-hmm. it's my father's business and you know so I can't just uh, I mean they could but they don't want to so and, and whatever the reason then they come and they're maybe giving a good amount of donation eh? I've seen it thousands of euros maybe to counteract this basically their sinful life uh, by selling these things so if we know that to accept this kind of donation it's because it's uh, there is quotes where it is said one should not you become contaminated ah. unless you're very qualified I mean you know so you have to judge like you know uh, if somebody is very like like it said Shiva we have Shiva here he can drink an ocean of poison and he only gets a little blue line that's all he gets <laughs> we can get one drop of that and we die immediately so it, yeah accepting donations and being able to use them for Krishna's service if you're powerful enough you can do that and you will not become affected but if you're not then there is that danger uh, so we have to judge every case yeah Okay, thank you very much. And uh, the second yes. question, if, uh, if a non-pure person, devotee, uh, uh, someone chanted the holy name and uh, sing it, they get some of the mercy from the Lord too, isn't it? Yeah, it's normally Nama Basa. It's not necessarily offensive. You know, they are, if they're devotees and they're trying to follow the process, then, you know, we are all in that category. Yeah. So there's no what what can we do? We have, you know, you have, it's better to chant that way than not to chant. Yeah. Even offensive chanting is better than no chanting. Oh, okay. And why is that? Because you, then you may. But how is this? You know, if it's only offensive chanting, it will be very bad. No. Yes, it is. Yes. So uh, this is explained in Jaiva Dharma. Because the, 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 these are all conversations. Jaiva Dharma Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur's book. So, a spiritual master was explaining to a disciple about the offenses. And then the disciple became, had this doubt, you know, then if it's only offensive chanting, then maybe should I chant at all? If it's, is it maybe very bad, no? Bad result. So, the explanation is, yes, there may be offensive chanting, but once in a while it will be Nama Basa. Uh, it's not pure but it's not completely offensive. You're on the clearing stage. So whatever Nama Basa comes once in a while, that accumulates. Again, that is not lost. Like here with Ajame, we hear, you know, it, little by little it was accumulating devotional service. So like chanting also, we chant and maybe so, so much percentage is offensive. But there may be so much percentage which is not offensive. So that is an eternal benefit mm -hmm. and it will accumulate. So depending on the quality, again, if one chants with offense, you can go on chanting for 20, 30, 40, 50, 500 years, 5,000 years and yeah, many lifetimes and the result will be small. And somebody comes and chants without offense, you know, in one second practically, in a very short time, you know, that's, that's the point. So it's not a question of just time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've been here for 30 years in Krishna consciousness, so I should be very much advanced. Yeah, yeah. No, maybe somebody who has been here for three days is more advanced than somebody who has been there for 30 years. It's quality. That's what we started with. Everything is quality. And as an quality, uh, what do you think uh, is uh, is actually uh, and more and important than uh, the quantity? Of course, always. 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 Practically speaking, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like Prabhupada said, boil the milk. Very famous letter. Boil the milk, which meant like everybody who cooks, they know. If you boil milk, what do you, do you get? Burfi, <laughs> which is condensed. Huh? The, the water goes out and you get the essence. 
You can also do pal halava. You know that? I, I used to do that. Pal is fruit. You take any fruit and you continue boiling until practically all the water is gone and you get a very condensed soup. Just, you know, without any sugar even. You take any apple, take two or three apples. It takes time. Eh? You can turn japa and with your left hand you have to stir so it doesn't burn. And you like with milk. And you get pal. Pal is fruit. It's fruit halava it's called. And it's like a very, yeah, it's like a, like a candy practically. Eh? And depending on the fruit, well, you can imagine. Try it. It's, it's interesting. Huh? So, uh, so that's the essence. I mean, the fruit is good also when it's fresh. It's all, I mean, you know. But still it becomes, uh, you know, condensed and, and more sweet. So quality normally is better than quantity in, in anything. Sure. Okay. So I think we can stop, right? Hare Krishna, thank you, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Gautama, Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai.